So guys, welcome to this uh, new little updated video on how to install the new modded app uh, that forces FCC onto your Spark. Um, before we go to that, I thought it would be appropriate just to uh, explain a little bit about the differences between uh, FCC and uh, CE mode. So FCC and CE, what's the difference and what's the meaning of it? Well, I'm not going to read what it says on the screen here. You can just pause the video and read it for yourself. But pretty much it's about the standards that are used when emitting and transmitting Wi-Fi signals. The FCC standard is a American, US, United States standard and CE is the Central European standard. So what does it actually mean? If we take a look in the manual, um, we'll see that the maximum transmission distance in FCC mode is listed to uh, 1.2 mile, 2 kilometers, and in CE mode it's 0 0.31 miles, which is 0 0.5 kilometers. So there is a huge difference between the distance um, when you're in FCC mode or CE mode. Now take a look uh, below also. Here we can see the transmission strength in dBMs, where you can see in 2.4 gigahertz, uh, FCC is 26 dBMs and CE is 18 dBMs. If we look at 5.8 gigahertz, the FCC is 28 dBMs and CE is only 14 dBMs. So it means that you're gonna get a longer range, a more stable uh, video feed and video signal when using FCC. So that's why it's interesting for us to be able to uh, change our Wi-Fi settings to FCC mode. Another thing that's pretty interesting to see is that the transmission strength is also uh, significantly higher. Um, when we are looking at a chart, you can see up here where it says FCC mode at the 28 dBMs, the transmitter uh, emits its signal uh, with uh, 630 plus uh, milliwatts. And if you go down and take a look at 14 uh, dBM, which were the CE uh, mode, we only transmit with 24, 5, 25 uh, milliwatts. So there is actually a huge difference in the strength being emitted um, in the CE mode uh, versus the FCC mode. So guys, before we uh, continue to uh, install the updated uh, new uh, Force FCC app, I want to show you that I am actually in uh, CE mode. So I have powered up my Spark, I've powered up my remote controller, I've connected to the uh, remote controller's uh, Wi-Fi. I'm going to go into the original DJI GO 4 app, which I downloaded from uh, Google Play Store. I'm going to let it start up. I'm gonna press go fly. 
I'm gonna press the three dots in the upper right corner, go into my Wi-Fi tab, and I scroll down and you can see that I got 13 channels in 2.4 gigahertz and I got five channels in 5.8 gigahertz. So I am So the next thing you gotta do is to uninstall all DJI Go 4 app related apps on your device. So guys, now it's time to uh, get the new modded app installed. Um, you can install uh, the app by downloading it um, through the guide where there is a download link or you can uh, look in the video description of this video to get a download link. Uh, I have already downloaded it. Um, there is a thing we need to make sure before we are um, installing the app and that is that we are actually able to install third-party apps, uh, apps that's not downloaded through the uh, Play Store. Um, the way you do that is you go into your um, settings, you scroll down to lock screen and security, you scroll down again, until you see uh, unknown sources. As you can see here in the middle of the screen, I have already turned it on, which means that I can now install apps that I didn't download from the Google Play Store. Um, don't be confused that it's in another language um, because I am in another country. But as I said before, uh, I have already downloaded the app so I'm just gonna find where I have it downloaded to in my download folder down here. It's TSS go forth.sa. I'm gonna press install, install, and the app is installing. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna power up my Spark. I'm gonna power up my remote. Those two are connecting as we speak. I'm gonna open up this new app. Don't be confused about the logo. It's because the new logo that you are looking at um, wasn't created when I did this tutorial, so don't be confused. It's gonna look pretty much like um, when you open the original DJI Go app, but when you take a look, uh, there are some patch notes and stuff here. We're just going to press agree. It's going to take you to this little video. You're going to press sign in. You're just going to sign in as usual with your email and your user, uh, yeah, your, your email and your password. Sign in. Now uh, it says that I have to update my firmware and stuff like that, and I know about that. It have, your firmware has to be uh, higher than uh, 01.00.0600, but um, pretty much all the Sparks firmware has been updated to uh, 0701. So I'm just gonna press I know. I'm gonna go in and connect to my, oops, um, to my Spark RC Wi-Fi here. Go back and just wait. Now I can press go fly. And my spark starts blinking and my remote controller is now disconnected. What is happening right now is that the Wi-Fi settings are changing from CE to FCC. As you can see in the background now I'm connected to my spark. 
I got a green light on my controller. I'm gonna go in to my settings and into my Wi-Fi tab. And as you can see, I now only got 11 channels in 2.4 gigahertz and I got five channels in 5.8 gigahertz. So now guys, you're in FCC. That's actually how simple it is. Uninstall all your other DJI GO 4 apps and install the new updated FCC modded app. Yes guys, that's it for uh, for now. I hope uh, you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like this video and write a comment for the great developers who have made this app possible. They are all listed uh, here in the picture. Uh, they did a tremendous job, so don't forget to show your appreciation. And um, until next time, take uh, care of yourself and uh, have fun flying your uh, DJI Spark. <laughs>